you are. Who's on the phone? I was talking to Frisco, so I had to check to Tony's doctor. Oh, and? Well, he's improving, but he still has amnesia. Is there anything else wrong? Why should there be? Oh, no, but you were in such good spirits when I left you earlier on. Oh, it's... I just didn't mean for these bloody things, that's all. You know that. Yes, I know. But I am so proud of you. I've never been more proud of you than I am this evening. I've seen how you put your heart into your job, never thinking of yourself. <laughs> Please, Holly, look, I'm no hero. Occasionally I'm driven by demons, but... Come on, let me finish. I haven't finished come on, yet. Come on, come on. This is embarrassing. Well, good. First, I just want you to know that above all else, even above the love that I feel for you, I feel admiration for your honor and your integrity. Holly, please. I created a person that doesn't exist. He does exist. I'm married to him. Look, I don't deserve these beautiful sentiments. Well, I think you do. I'm very proud, and I'm very excited, and I'm ready to face the world now, so come on, let's go. I wish I didn't have to go through with this. You're in a very strange mood this evening. <sighs> Just naturally shy, you know that. No, I think it's more than that. Come on, it's all in your imagination. Let you and me go downstairs and do battle together. I'm standing in for the uh, governor of our fine state, who's been called to Washington on some rather urgent business. Seems it has something to do with uh, money for the Big Apple. <laughs> but I'm not here to talk about money tonight. And I'm all out of Australian jokes, so I'll get right to the business at hand. We're here tonight to honor a man who's been singled out by his peers for a special award that's been created for this evening. It is my honor to present to you your good friend, Robert Scorpio, and to present him with this gift for being the most outstanding police commissioner in the state of New York. much I want to say that this uh, this is really very very nice uh, you know I tried to work out a speech earlier on but I tried it out on Holly and it really didn't work out terribly well so <laughs> <laughs> we sort of left it at that but you know I kind of thought that well maybe a thanks very much and let's party would probably do it but, mm. uh, <laughs> these couplings they're 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 solid gold and I don't think a thank you and a bad joke is really gonna do it so, uh, I've never been much for speeches, although I guess a mate of mine, Luke Spencer, would probably disagree with that. But, well, I can't tell you how much I really appreciate this. And I really appreciate these cufflinks, too. And I'm, as soon as I get a shirt with holes in it, I'm going to wear them. <laughs> but, you know, in all seriousness, every commissioner here tonight uh, deserves an award. Um, they all work as hard, probably harder than I do. But I, I'm very honored that you would single me out. Thank you all very, very much. Well, ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> that concludes the formal part of our ceremony. Now comes the informal. Now, I hope you're listening, Robert, and not just scratching your ear. All right? Huh? <laughs> huh? <laughs> so it was when the fact that he sang you went home. No, no, not yet. It's not that, not yet. It has fallen upon my broad shoulders to introduce the second half of our program. And it's all personal. Do you know anything about this? <laughs> I am the best, or at least 
one of the best for this job because I've known this man and worked with this man for many years, and I can honestly say I love him like a brother. <laughs> Always treated my brother like this. <laughs> yeah. So, you stand here, my friend, because Robert Xavier Scorpio, this is your life. <laughs> It seems to me, and to most of us in Port Charles, that we were particularly fortunate that fate brought us Robert Scorpio at just that point in time when the city was growing rapidly and that growth was attracting a lot of undesirable customers. Huh? <laughs> I, uh, I don't mean to infer that Robert was one of the undesirables, on the contrary. He had to match wits with a lot of tough customers. It took a lot of strength and character to see it through. But Robert always won out in the end. So when the rest of the commissioners heard that Robert was to get this award, we decided to give him one of our own. Audrey, are you ready? Oh, uh, Brian? Yep, get the right here. <laughs> Please, Brian, and your chicken. Oh, it's high to be the king of the tropics. Commissioner Scorpio, will you ride? All right, Audrey, he's all yours. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, Commissioner Scorpio, hmm. Robert, this, um, this token of our esteem and thanks for catching various and sundry scoundrels <laughs> is given to you with our love and our hope that you will forget about all the fun and adventure around the world and just stay right in Port Charles. <laughs> <laughs> This is all your fault. <laughs> of course. My turn now, yeah. You mean it's not over yet? No, not quite. No. 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 This to you, but... Yes, I, I think I can safely say that the first time uh, Robert Scorpio appeared in Port Charles, he gave the impression of being the adventurer type. Would you say that was a fair evaluation? Suave and debonair as well, don't you? Suave, oh, certainly suave and debonair adventurer. <laughs> He was certainly the first Australian we ever laid eyes on. Before or since. True. 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 Robert was a long, long way from home, but now he's practically a native son. Yeah. And can you imagine how startled he must have been when we pleaded with him to settle down with us and become our police commissioner? Now that is something. That is something. That is the most important decision Port Charles ever made, and the finest.